coral reefs are on a diet. Instead of the low-carb, low-fat regimes their human counterparts may go on, corals around Sydney Harbour, Australia are taking part in an experiment where they are being fed fat. You can feed these little fat balls to the coral uh, and they take them and they eat them. This research is aimed at protecting the reefs against global warming. The United States Environmental Protection Agency says the temperature of the top 2,300 feet of the oceans has become warmer since 1955. When water temperature rises, corals lose their color. When corals bleach, they lose a relationship with this tiny algae that lives in their tissues and normally gives them all the nutrients they need to survive. Researchers are testing to see if high fat can protect against high heat. Corals require an optimal nutrition to grow, reproduce and survive diseases and environmental changes. Scientists say there is something else we can do to help the coral reefs. In order to save our reefs now, the most important thing is that we reduce our carbon emissions and we reduce them as quickly as possible. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.